Hi, my name is Michael Madison, and uh, today we interviewed actor Robert Rustler. He's in my film Delivered. He's a veteran actor. He's been around for a long time, and he's got a lot of great information to tell anybody that's into filmmaking or acting. Well, you know, I got started back in the 80s. I met my manager, Dolores Robinson, who was at the time a manager at Blake Edwards Entertainment. And she asked me if I had been interested in acting, and I told her I always had been interested, but never really pursued it. So I met her at her office, and she hooked me up at the Loft Studio, where I studied with Bill Trailer and Peggy Fury, and started sending me on auditions. And, uh, you know, actually, to begin with, it, it got a little frustrating. I got a lot of doors shut in my face. Uh, I was pretty green. I had a lot to learn. And once I developed some technique and some confidence over at the Loft Studio, uh, I finally landed my first job uh, with John Hughes at Universal Studios entitled Weird Science, which, you know, really opened the door for me quite a bit. I learned a lot working with John and Joel Silver, Anthony Michael Hall, Robert Downey Jr., Kelly LeBrock, etc. And from then on, uh, I was able to utilize that experience to go on and do uh, quite a bit more films. On the last day of shooting Weird Science, I had a, an audition for the film Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Now, I had read for Nightmare on Elm Street 1, uh, I guess it was about eight months previous, and uh, that didn't go well. So, I went to the audition for Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, and they had asked me if I had read the script, and I told them yes, and they said, you know, what do you think about it? And I was a little apprehensive to be honest and, and truthful, quite frankly, but you know, I just told them, you know, I really like the script, I love the first movie, I, I dig the character of Freddy Krueger, and I like my character of Ryan Grady, there's just one thing that really doesn't seem true to me, and that is the profanity, the vulgarity, I don't think kids really talk like that, that these days, you know. And they said, you know, what do you mean, you know, give us an example. So I opened the script and I looked down and I said, well, you know, for example, there was one line that said, you know, are you fucking her for car fare? I said, well, you know, that's a little uh, blunt. I thought, are you mounting her nightly or what, bro? And they were like, ooh, I like that. So I gave them a few more examples and they had me read with the actor that uh, just finished uh, Bring Him Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean actor by the name of uh, Mark Patton. We read together, and uh, we both got cast right there on the spot. So it was really, uh, really exhilarating for me to just come off this studio film and then get right into a movie that we knew was turning into a cult classic. Um, from there, uh, it really opened the door for me to do my next film, Thrashin', with Josh Brolin. I went on to do Vamp with Grace Jones, Chris Makepeace, Getty Watanabe, and Dee Dee Pfeiffer, Billy Drago. It was a great cast. Uh, that turned out to be a little cult classic. You know, I've been very lucky in that respect. Um, you know, I went on to do other films such as Shag and Sometimes They Come Back, which was a, which was a Stephen King novel. And uh, it really, like I say, you know, starting out with Weird Science really opened a lot of doors for me to uh, start to utilize my experience to land jobs not only in the audition but to also be more comfortable and confident once I was on camera on these other films. How does it feel to be recognized as the leader of the Daggers? Well I'll tell you, you know, doing Thrashing was so much fun for me. Um, at the time my managers and agents weren't really sure if that was the right choice um, I had a lot of opportunities then to do some more studio films, but I really loved the whole idea of playing, first of all, a skateboard movie, which I, I grew up doing, you know, my whole life. I loved skateboarding. And when I read for Thrashing, uh, the director, David Winters, who was a rap in the original West Side Story, had this idea to do this modern day West Side Story on skateboards. and asked me, would I rather be the bad guy or the good guy? And uh, it took me about three seconds to make that decision. I would rather be the bad guy every time. Uh, playing Hook, the leader of the Daggers, was an opportunity for me to, uh, 
act alongside of all of my longtime skateboard legend heroes, you know, Tony Alba, Christian Vasoy, Steve Olson, the list goes on. I mean, who in the skateboard world wasn't in that movie at the time? So it's turned out to be a big plus for me, not only with a fan base that's international, but also I made more friends on that one film than on all the other films put together. I, I stay in touch with every single one of those guys to this day, and they've become really like fantastic lifelong friends. So I mean, it was, um, it was meant to be, it was fate to do that film.